Hey guys, Peter Drew here. So after only a week of beta testing, we've had tons of suggestions from all our beta testers and we've got a really cool update. First thing is, we've now added the ability to edit your templates. Your HTML or the default template that comes in the software, you can now download that, edit it to suit and use that in the software so you can create any designs you like to suit your local markets. We've also added a PDF report at the end. Once the software completes creating all the sites, it will pop up a PDF report, which you can then upload to drive.google.com using the same account or different account or to as many Google accounts as you've got. Plus you can upload it to other document sharing websites. And uploading this PDF to document sharing websites or drive.google.com means you get awesome tiered links back to the website you're promoting inside the Google sites and also obviously more links back to the Google sites you've created that will help them rank even stronger in Google. We also had a big call out for additional licenses so you can see here you can click on this button to upgrade your license to get additional licenses to run this software on as many computers as you like. That means for each license that you purchase of course. And additionally we create, created a installation file and there is a tutorial to show you how to install the software here on our forum which is going really well. We're up to over 600 members now and a shout out to our latest member Keith Sager. G'day mate. So click on beta testing softwares. By the way while you're here check out these awesome articles three ways to find quality SEO clients five sensational places to find your next local SEO clients how to get local SEO clients 11 experts chime in these are great articles you don't even need to be a member to read them the software tutorial for installing the software is on the download software page this video will be a quick run through just to show you the new features and there will be a more comprehensive video tutorial about the default HTML template and how to use it in another upcoming video. Okay, so let's go. We'll create a new project, click next and I will call it SEO Consultant. Now, boom, straight away you'll see a new field, select template folder. Now, if you want to use the default HTML template in the software, ignore that. If you'd like to... So first I'll show you where to locate your template, the default template. You go to My Documents, G Sites Builder, Templates, and there it is. That is your template. And this is what it looks like. So there you go, and you also see we have tokens. So here are the tokens you can use in your HTML template. Three different variations of the keyword token. Wherever you put that keyword token in your HTML template, the keyword that the site is created around will be placed. You've got the keyword in all uppercase, lowercase, and first letter uppercase. Now you have two articles, article tokens, article token one, article token two. The software breaks your article in half and if you put the article token one, article token two above and below each other like you see them listed here, it will appear as one article. But if you'd like to separate the article in between a couple of different fields or tables, this gives you the freedom to do that. In the software where you place HTML, wherever you place that HTML token, that is where the HTML that you enter into the software will appear. Wherever you put the map token, that is where the Google map will appear. The home URL token, wherever you place that, that is where the link that you added in the software will appear in the template. As I said previously, I'll dedicate one video specifically to for the default template design tutorial video. So in this video, I'll continue along using the default template. I'll get an article. 
So I just Googled why SEO is important, grabbed an article, pasting it here. Now under the protected field, I, I don't want SEO replaced or business replaced or search engine optimize Asian replaced. So now I'll make Spintax all done. Now test Spintax so I can see what it looks like. It looks great. Now click next. So here's the section in the software where you can add your own individual HTML, which is simple. Let's grab your favorite HTML editor. I'll go get all Pete's SEO software here. Go to make link. Click on OK. Now go over to this side and here's the HTML here. You just go everything in between the body. Too easy. Paste that in there. Also, this is a great place to put a free counter. And with free counters, you have the option to have them visible or non-visible. You can set the start point. So you can put counters in here and that gives you a really good idea of how much traffic your sites are getting. Here is where you can load up as many Google accounts as you like to create sites on. I'm going to select create sites and then you can select the Google accounts you'd like to use in this project. If you've got 50 Google accounts in the left column here, you can select the ones that suit the niche that you are targeting and bump them over here. In this example I'm only using one so I'll push one over there. Now remember you can create eight Google sites or eight internal pages per one Google account and the software will automatically once it's created eight pages or eight sites it will then select the next Google account in the list and create the next eight. So you can create virtually an unlimited amount of sites or pages relative to how many Google accounts you have. So click next so on this page, all very simple, click on browse button to select the image you would like to appear in the Google site you're creating. Here you enter the region that you would like to appear in the Google map. If you are Also you can put the exact address of the business you are promoting. If it's already indexed in Google, then the map will display the exact location of the business you are promoting. And obviously here you put the URL of the site you are promoting. And here is where you place the YouTube videos that you would like to have embedded on your Google site. The software chooses one of these randomly each time it creates a new site. If you leave just one YouTube video there, it will place the embed of that video on each Google site you create. So that's all done. Too easy. No, it's not. So that's all updated. Too easy. Click next. And there you go. You've completed one project. Click on start work and the software will go out and create all those laser targeted Google sites for you instantly. So simply click on the start work button, then the preview window pops up.
So I'll pause this video and come back once it creates the PDF. Okay guys, so the software is completed and it's popped up the PDF. So these are the links you get in the PDF. Now of course you can now upload this PDF file with these links to drive.google.com and other document sharing websites to get awesome links back to these sites and also tiered links back to the website you're promoting inside the Google sites. So I'll show you what they look like. Okay, there's the first one. Different image, different video, spun article, different map. Different image, different video, different Google map. Different theme, different image, different video. Google map again. Different theme, different image, different video, and Google map again. And so on. So keep an eye out for the next video, which will be the tutorial for how to edit your default HTML template that's supplied in the software so you can create new designs for your Google sites. See you in the next video.